As soon as Russian tanks crossed into Ukraine two weeks ago, the response was prompt and painful. Russia's Nord Stream 2 pipeline project with Germany shut down. Russian banks largely cut off from international banking systems. Even those closest to President Vladimir Putin, finding many of their assets and their money no longer accessible. In all of this, the United States and NATO allies presenting a united front, a surprise to Russia and its number one trading partner, China, according to U.S. intelligence officials. They did not anticipate uh, the, the significant difficulties the Russians were going to run into. I think they're unsettled by the reputational damage that can come by their close association with President Putin. China has a long tradition of opposing sanctions. Experts say it's one reason North Korea still manages to conduct some trade in the region. But the situation in Ukraine may be changing the game, especially as the Russian military has failed to take the country in a matter of days, as had been predicted. From China's perspective, Russia's invasion of Ukraine should have been, frankly, a cakewalk. China expert Craig Singleton predicts a recalculation of the Russia-China partnership may now be taking place, as China helping Russia could damage its already cooling economy. Its Belt and Road Initiative includes some partnerships with several European countries, more than a dozen NATO member states. This, plus the largely united response by the world, may bring with it a silver lining. There had been many goals from the Chinese uh, to put in, to sort of advance this theory of a new era of international relations. Russia and China would supplant the United States and the West as the leaders in the developed world. Whether that's leading to a pause or not, some Washington lawmakers are now calling on the United States to end economic reliance on China, moving forward with a plan to, for example, decouple the supply chain, even proposing a ban on investment in strategic Chinese industry.